Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and this video is going to be a continuation of the first Google Reviews training video. More specifically, this video is going to focus on the Google API key. To set up and obtain your Google API key, you'll want to open up the Google Reviews widget and locate the hyperlink just below the Google API key field. You can click that hyperlink, and that will bring you to the Google Console Cloud. From here, you want to make sure that you're logged in. And once logged in, you can use this button on the top here and select new project. You can name this project anything you'd like. I recommend naming it based off of your site so that you can be better organized. You don't have to worry about the location and we can click create. Perfect. Once that's created, we can use the hamburger menu on the top left. Come down to APIs and services and click the enabled APIs and services option. From here, we'll use the plus enable APIs and services button on the top of the screen. And then we can come down to enable both the maps JavaScript API. Click enable there. And then we can go back. And next, we'll enable the Places API. Perfect. With those two enabled, we can then use the hamburger menu on the top left, come down to APIs and Services, and then come down to Credentials. From here, you'll want to use the plus Create Credentials button on the top of the screen. And in the dropdown, we'll select API Key. Your API key will be created and displayed on the screen. You want to keep this key secret and secure to prevent others from using your key. To do this, let's walk through how to restrict the API key to specific URLs. We can close this, and then on the right hand side, we can use the three dots, click that, and then click Edit API Key. From in here, We'll come down to the application restrictions and we we'll want to select HTTP. We see that we have a new field that's been generated called website restrictions. This is where you will add the URL for the sites you wish to have the widget load on. When adding URLs into this field, there is a specific format that needs to be followed. After clicking add an item and then clicking into the field itself, we can then see that specific format that needs to be followed, which is going to be asterisk, period, the URL, forward slash, asterisk. So for wocode.com, if we wanted to add that into our list, it would look like this, asterisk, period, wocode.com, forward slash, asterisk. To add site modify so that you can preview the site in the builder and on the preview URL, you'll add it like this, asterisk period sitemodify.com forward slash site forward slash your site ID asterisk. So we can click done, come down to API restrictions, and from here, we'll want to select restrict key. Using this drop down, we'll want to scroll down here and enable Maps JavaScript API and Places API and click OK. And then we can click Save. Now it's important to note, it may take up to five minutes for settings to take effect. It's also important to note that recent pricing structure changes on many Google services has resulted in fee changes for use of their API services. Using the Google API required for this widget is not free. However, Google provides a credit of $200 every month. Because of the credit, we expect that use of the Google Reviews widget will not incur a cost for the majority of users. For more information on this, please refer to our Google Reviews training doc. Let's go ahead and click Save. And now from here, we can see that we have a restricted API key. It's restricted to the website and we can click show key from the pop-up we can select copy to clipboard and then if we head back into the builder here go into the google reviews widget paste that api key 
And if you don't see it load immediately, simply refresh the builder. Now we can scroll down. And there we have it. Just like that, we've created a new API key and we've restricted it to our specific sites. And now the Google review widget is ready to go. And with that, my name is Norman Durkee and you have been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.